In this video, I'll be going over the 2023-2024 Academic Planner by Dash Planner. I'll demonstrate how to use the different features of the planner in order to help you organize your studies for the academic year. Upon checkout, you will be given access to a download dashboard PDF file. Here is where you can choose if you'd like the planner in portrait or landscape orientation, and if you would like the planner in light or dark mode. This digital dashboard is also where you can download the included digital stickers, covers, as well as an interactive user guide. Once you have made your planner selection, including which start date you'd like to use, the planner file will download to your iPad's download folder. Once you have the file open, tap the share icon in the upper right corner and choose your note app from the list. If you don't see your desired app listed, you can scroll until you see more and select your app from the complete list. Selecting your app will import and open the planner in that app. There will be a pop-up where you can rename the file if you'd like, or choose a specific folder to save the planner to. In this demonstration, I'll be using the GoodNotes app, but the process should be similar in the other apps too. Swiping past the planner's cover will land you on the planner's index. Here is where you can access all of your planner's included templates and sections. To use any of the planner's hyperlinks, make sure you first select the Read Only tool. It kind of looks like a crossed out pencil located in the upper right corner. The index is also where you can access your term sections. In order to keep the planner as universal as possible, I have used the terminology of term, which can be used whether your school year consists of semesters, quarters, or sessions. To label the term specific to your schedule, you can use either the pen tool to write in or the text tool to type out your term names. Tapping on the arrow next to the term's label will take you to that term's overview page. Here you can write in your term's weekly schedule. There's also a section for writing in your class schedule for the term. Tapping on the arrow next to a class will take you to that class's overview page. This is where you can keep all of a class's information, such as contact info, a list of important dates, and required materials. This planner comes with a variety of academic-focused templates for managing certain topics in more detail. These templates can be accessed from the index or by tapping on the book icon in the bottom navigation bar. Now when it comes to using these templates, you have a couple of options. You can keep them in their original spot in the planner and make duplicates as needed. You can also copy and paste the template right after a class overview page. That way, when you tap on a specific class, you can swipe through all the templates that you've saved for that specific class. Or, if you prefer to keep your information organized by customized sections, you can copy and paste the templates to your planner's section dividers. The planner comes with 10 section dividers that can be used any way that works best for you. You can set them up by category, say you need sections for school information, home projects, and maybe some personal journaling. Or let's say you have large projects, like a thesis project or presentation, you can dedicate a section to each one. You could also use the section dividers for each of your classes if you prefer. It all just comes down to your personal preference and how the planner works best for your needs. Once you've decided on your sections, you can label them with either the pen or text tool and paste in any additional templates or notepaper you'd like to use. Now for time-based planning. Starting with the monthly calendars, you can use this view for planning out important dates and seeing your month at a glance. There are sections for keeping note of both school and personal matters. 
These sections can be used for tasks, notes, or for setting a goal or intention for the month. The monthly calendar is also how you can quickly access the weekly and daily pages. Tapping on a week's number takes you to that week's layout, and tapping on a day's number will take you to that day's daily page. Starting with the weekly pages, the weekly view is great for seeing due dates and tasks at a glance. What's nice about this page is that it allows you to keep tabs on both your personal and academic schedule. The academic planner also comes with a second weekly page, the subject view. This view gives you a lot of flexibility on what you'd like to keep tabs on. You can designate the sections to your class subjects so that you can write out what you need to work on each day for each of your subjects. You can also use the sections for other life areas, such as your work schedule, meals, or workout routine. To label the subjects, you can either write them in, use the text tool, or use the labels I've included for good notes. If you want to use the labels, navigate back to the download dashboard. Tap on Download Digital Stickers, and under the Subject Label section, choose either the Portrait or Landscape labels, based on whichever planner orientation you're using. Once the file has downloaded, open the Share menu again and choose to open the file in GoodNotes. Here you can pick where you want to keep the labels. With the lasso, select which label colors you'd like to use. Tap the section to copy the labels and paste them on your subject weekly view. They are automatically sized to the page, so you'll just need to place them as desired. To change the text, select the text tool Tap on the label and enter your desired text. This initial setup takes a bit, but once you have your labels how you like them, you can select all the labels and easily copy and paste them week to week. Now when you tap on a day's date in either weekly view, it'll take you to that day's daily page. Here you have a daily schedule for breaking your day down by hour. There's task lists where you can keep track of both your personal and school related to do items. There's also a blank space here that you can use for notes, digital stickers, or anything else you need a little bit of extra space for. If you'd like some ideas on how to use this space, I have a video I will link where I show how to create your own widgets in GoodNotes to add more personalization to your daily page. Something I often get asked is how to add pages for additional daily notes. To do this, you can head over to the Notepaper section and navigate to the notepaper you'd like to use. Copy the page, go back to your daily page, and paste it in. This is a great way to organize your daily notes or journaling since it'll be organized by date. The Academic Planner also includes sections for keeping goals and projects. The Goal Dashboard is where you can write out and see your current goals at a glance. Tapping on an arrow takes you to that goal's overview page where you can expand on your goal in greater detail. Following a similar structure is the Project Dashboard. What's great about this section is you can use it for either school or personal projects or a mixture of both. If you find yourself needing additional space for notes or sketches, you can also copy and paste in additional note paper or page templates, and the pages will be organized by project. In addition to the subject labels, this planner also comes with over 1,400 digital stickers. These stickers are available in three formats, a sticker book for GoodNotes, collection file for GoodNotes elements, and individual PNG files to use in all other note apps. To download the other stickers, navigate back to the download dashboard and choose the sticker book file. Download the GoodNotes file and import it into GoodNotes using the same process we used earlier.
Once imported into GoodNotes, you'll be able to use the hyperlinks to navigate through all the sticker options. Once you've found a sticker you'd like to use, select the Lasso tool. You'll want to make sure Images is turned on in the Lasso settings, or you won't be able to select the sticker. Draw a rough section around the sticker and tap Copy. Go back to your planner and navigate to the page where you'd like to use the sticker. Tap to paste the sticker, and you can then resize, rotate, and move the sticker as desired. If you are using Notability, Noteshell, or any other Note app, you can use the individual sticker files in your planner. Download the individual PNG zip file from the downloads dashboard. If the file saves to your Files app as a zip file, tap to uncompress the folder. In this example, I'll be using Notability. With your planner open, open your files in a second window. You can float this window or open it in a split screen. Locate the sticker you'd like to use, long press, and move the sticker over to your planner. To change the color of the planner's cover, download and import the cover PDF file as its own document. Once open, navigate to the cover you'd like to use. Copy the page and go back to your planner, navigating to the cover page. Paste in the new cover page and delete the old cover. I hope you found this video helpful in setting up your planner for the academic year. As always, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can leave a comment below or reach out via email. I will list my contact info in the description of this video. I wish you the best of luck in your studies and I hope that you have a wonderful school year. Until next time, happy planning!